Um, there should have been some slight music in the background, but you know what? <laughs> Today's gonna be one of those days, I think. Um, hey everybody. It's, hey, hey, is it a demised program? If it's, if it's not a little bit wild wacky, I do wanna say thank you to Daredrop for giving us the uh, free code for Generation Zero, which is currently on sale. It is a uh, FPS game set in Sweden. Uh, the game's development studio and publisher, Systemic Reaction, is also Sweden-based. Um, and it might be the first game that I've ever played that defaults to a Swedish language pack, so I'm genuinely very interested and very excited to be able to see this. It's a game that I probably wouldn't have touched otherwise. Um, and, you know, just, just, just for the full, authentic, 100% honest experience, I am, of course, on three hours of sleep right now. Um, which is uh, something that is partially a machination of my own construction um and partially just the joys and wonderment that comes with living with family uh yeah it wouldn't exactly clary it wouldn't be a demise stream if everything went correctly uh did clary have the word everything in there no i chose to interject it because some things have to go right eventually you guys are here um but yeah, it's gonna be a little wacky. It's gonna be a little wild. We're gonna we're gonna try and have a good time with it. But oh boy, do I feel just absolutely blasted. So um, you know, uh, <laughs> apologies. Please bear with me. It's gonna be one of those kinds of days. Um, now, I don't 100% know the story with uh, Systemic Reactions or with Generation Zero. It's not a game that I that was like massively on my radar. I think something about it, uh, I saw something about it a while ago. And a part of the reason why I highlight a while ago is the game did actually originally release in 2019. Um, now, of course, if you remember uh, 2019 and the years to follow, it is remembered as the time where everything was good and there were absolutely no problems or consequences that followed up afterwards. So, uh, you know, I'm sure the game's development studio is having a fine time and all of that jazz. Um, so we're going to be a little bit uh, patient, but yeah. Um, no, oh, no, your 6 p.m. GMT stream had sound issues to start and then cut out for a moment at 9 p.m. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. We here, as streamers, fantastic content creators and incredibly professional, have never once had any sort of problem and also have no real-world circumstances with which we should be concerned by. We, of course, live in a perfect bubble in which the only things inside of that bubble are the content that we create and ourselves. So there are no things that could possibly distract us or things which could possibly take us away from the camera at any given moment. Everything is immaculate and perfect all the time. Become content creators, kids. Uh, your life will be easier. You will have to definitely do less work for more money. Just become a content creator. Um... You fix things today, that's better than what I've done. Well, I guess legally speaking, I fix things, but you know. Uh, your oven door gasket and repasting your Nintendo Switch, hell yeah. Okay, let me quit my day job. Exactly, Mespia. Don't, don't really uh, do any planning or strategy ahead of time. Just go ahead and quit your day job, become a content creator, it's easy. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> before I give anybody else sound financial advice, um, we're gonna open up my advent calendar. And Harley the other day did point out that some of the things inside of the advent calendar are, um, extremely, are extremely useful. Uh, Harley is not wrong. However, especially right now being a little, a little loopy, um, I'm really hoping for a for an incredible win on this particular one, uh, because some of the recent days uh, that did not that were not shown on stream um, were interesting. I did get this little standee for a uh, mind flare, 
It's just a little cardboard standee for like a little miniature figurine or whatever. And that one, that one is actually really nice. Um, I'm actually quite happy about that one. And then I got a bookmark, which I don't know. I'm one of those guys who dog ears the pages of books that I own. Um, so having a bookmark is actually extremely useful to me. So it was two solidly okay options, but you know, this is, this is official Dungeons and Dragons brand, so you know. It's easy to make content. It is hard to make that content good and get anyone to pay for that content. For the record, I do pay for your content smile. No, I appreciate it, ACS Mars. And genuinely everybody who's here, like this is a part of the reason why I generally try to restrain my whinging um, about about my real life to either demise after dark or just not at all. Like my life, you guys, you guys make my life so incredibly blessed, and I, I cannot say how much I appreciate everybody who's watching, everybody who's who's here and interacting with us. Um, it's incredible, and I, I really appreciate that. Uh, that being said. Um, there are, there are some things that are difficult, for lack of a better phrase. Um, uh, for example, uh, someone, and I, I, I don't know if I'm necessarily allowed to, say, allowed to say names, but someone very graciously was checking out my throne page and saw that I wanted to, um, get a specific part, a USB, uh, to wife, uh, to ethernet cord converter, so that way we could try and maybe sync up the, uh, the YouTube simulcasts a little bit better. Um, Throne is convinced that it has arrived at my house and that I have it right now, which is unfortunate because I don't, and it is not at my house. So... Where did it go? No one's telling me! <laughs> so anyways, the, the point is, is that all of these things are, are quite small, and I, I, I do apologize for... Um, you know, coming coming in with some wacky energy. Uh, Generation Zero is a is a uh, game that has elements that I like, big stompy robots. It's not at the old address, Clare, because I I checked that uh, before before I uh, <laughs> updated anything new on on Throne. Um, if they mailed it to the old address, they shouldn't have because it's not the one that's on file, but. Uh, I have I have no way of checking with that because I'm not on superb terms with the current inhabitants of my old apartment. Um, so yeah, it's it's just it's a red hot mess. And also they they claim oh god this is nothing this is a nothing sandwich I can't I can't just whinge about Throne on stream because Throne has been nothing but delightful. But um. Throne claims that it was mailed to my current address as well, so. It's good, we're all having a great time. Anyways, the point is, I would never waste the first 20 minutes of stream just non-stop complaining, because I'm a very grateful boy. I'm so grateful this holiday season, and I want Santa Claus to put me on the nice list. And a part of the nice list is that's not how that sentence should work anyways. A part of the nice list is day 19. That's just, that's just not a nothing of a sentence. But what is inside day 19, you might ask? It is, okay, actually, actually I'm excited about this one. It is a little sticky note pad with a, um, sort of faded image of Tiamat in the background. And you can tell it's Tiamat because it's got five heads. And unironically, I love sticky notes. I, if anybody knows anything about me, it's that I am extremely organized and on top of my shit at all times. And so I just dropped the sticky notes that I'm now going to pick up with my feet. That's some running commentary for you about this exact moment. Um. Are you sure it isn't a Hydra that cast a Sky Self? If it was a Hydra that could cast a Sky Self, you've got bigger problems. Um, <laughs> so these are actually really nice. I'm probably gonna start using them right away, but yeah. Um, the judgmental voyeur has his own criteria. 
I, that sentence, maybe it's just because I'm sleep deprived. Um, Pixie, that sentence feels like something that belongs in like a noir crime film. Hey, the judgmental voyeur has his own criterias. I says to the dame as I take a long drag of my cigarette. Um, I don't know what that means, but that's just because my brain is doing superbly right now. So, okay. Uh, this has been potentially the worst 22 minutes of the start of a stream that I've done in a long time. But, hey, in enjoy that. That's how the stream is starting. Generation Zero, everybody! Uh, bigger problems than Tiamat? Tiamat is actually not that big of a... Um, not, uh, Tiamat is not that big of a boy. Well, literally. But, uh... Because Tiamat is um, a pretty mid-tier deity. Sorry to all of my Tiamat enjoyers out there. Um, like, in every iteration of of Dungeons and Dragons, Tiamat never owns her own plane of existence. She's like always like, um, she's always like duplexing it with somebody else, which like is fine. Not like I, I myself do not currently have my own housing accommodations, but like if you're a god, that's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, she, she's a literal god, but she's like kind of the lamest of all of the gods, depending on which iteration of Dungeons and Dragons you're playing, she's either living in some random cave on the second layer of the Nine Hells, um, and basically she hopes that uh, the Archduke of Hell, Dis, doesn't notice her because she's not supposed to be there, or she has a building inside of the city of Dis, um, that she's not even really in control of, or she's like bumming it around in the ethereal sea because she's worried Bahamut is onto her. Like Tiamat is like a pretty, a pretty B tier deity. Yeah, her her aspects, her as this we cannot we cannot just talk about Dungeons and Dragons. That is not the theme of today. The theme of today is big stompy robots. But what I am saying is, um, yeah, and also it doesn't help that her aspects blow right. Like if if a if a party of four level three Dungeons and Dragons adventurers can take out an aspect of Tiamat, you're doing something wrong. Uh, anyways, uh, that's fine. I'm not going to be doing any multiplayer. Generation Zero, everybody. Um, so again, I don't know very much about this game. I don't know. Um, a lot about sort of the the plot beats that we're going to be going on here but just looking at the initial outset right and uh with the knowledge that the game is set in sweden um and uh it defaults to swedish i can choose to use the english voice acting we might do english voice acting depending on how sort of the the flow of the gameplay goes um but because it defaulted it to swedish i'm i'm willing to try right um so we we sometimes look at uh, the the opening uh, title screen of games and we sort of analyze it to get any additional contextual information about the game itself. Um, I am covering up the bottom right corner. You're not missing too much. Uh, all that you're really seeing is my username, Demias, uh, the version that we're on, and uh, an advertisement for some DLC. Uh, so. First off, we can see the robot. They look like some sort of quadruped, or if they are bipedal, they're they're massively hunched over. What's what's interesting about this is that the robot, while in the foreground, is not naturally where my eyes are drawn to. Right, um, the robot over here is fine. Right, like he has lights. I don't know. Maybe if it's just the advertisement in the bottom right that's sort of blocking them up. But really, because there's this sort of big sans serif text from the top left, Generation Zero, and then immediately underneath it, the like the waxing or waning moon, um, my eyes are really sort of drawn to the left hand side of the screen. Which, as you can see, there's some sort of, uh, it, it does appear to be a very rural setting, right? There's a lot of trees around, there appears to be sort of one isolated building, um, and it, it does have sort of this, this, 
this feeling of creeping dread, right? Like when your when your eyes, for me, do eventually drift over to the right to where the robot is, the robot sort of looks kind of menacing. Um, now, is that the case? Are the things that we're going to be shooting the big giant robots? I have no idea. That's just sort of first br uh, first brush. Maybe there will be a subversion of expectation, and uh, this this fun robot will be our good friend. But really, what it's what it's sort of evoking to me right now, and the only thing that's sort of stopping it from doing that one hundred percent is, it kind of gives me werewolf vibes, right? Like a werewolf sort of rising over the crest of a hill over an unsuspecting uh, townhouse building uh, about to sort of descend upon the people there. So if that's the vibe they're going for, nailed it. If I'm 100% wrong and this robot is our good friendly dog, we're gonna, I'm gonna feel like a bad person, but you know how it goes. Um, let's get into the game. And hey, hey, Kishnok. Okay. Uh, there's a character creator, sure. I feel literally nothing about any of these options. And again, might just be sleep deprived. I guess I like that, like, the character signifier is just an alphabetical numeral. Weirdly enough, I don't know if that's a thing that like I'm allowed to like, but I'm kind of into it. We're gonna choose. Uh... Sure, we'll choose D for demise. Um... Rebel, punk, hip hopper. My favorite starting outfit: hip hopper. Good. Greaser, popular. So this game, this game also does support mul support multiplayer. So you can actually uh, play a Generation Zero with others. We're probably not going to see our outfit. Does it suck that out of the out outfit so far, I'd probably choose popular? Uh, oh wait, no, actually, sorry. Here's nerd. Never mind. I this outfit really looks like an outfit that's prepared for. Um, shooting guns at giant robots. When I look at this outfit, I mean, it's basically what I'm wearing right now, but you know. Metalhead, sure. Military, okay. That's that's sort of what I was coming into this expecting. And then we just sort of wrap back around to Rebel. Yeah, I'm going to go with Nerd. Um, Cause it's basically me. Collared shirt, uh, jacket, a little sweater vest. I need to get a sweater vest. I haven't had a sweater vest in a long time. Yeah. Rebel and punk. Yeah, I... So punk, mohawk, leather jacket. Sure. Like, I, I, I do like that he's got, like, half flannel pants, half jeans. Um, Re Rebel does sort of feel like the James Dean Rebel Without a Cause design, right? Um, yeah. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Nerd looks more believable. I mean, how dare. You, you trying to, you trying to say you don't think that I could be a, um, uh, you don't think I could be a, Punk or Rebel? Uh, hold on. Okay, just needed to make sure there wasn't anything significant going on. Style. Oh, you get different styles. Okay, that's actually very cute. Actually, um, hold on really fast. So you know how I've been complaining about how big my head is and how few uh, clothing outfits uh, options that I have? Um, obligatory uh, indication of the cute little stress uh, stress thing Pixie sent me. Um, but also, <laughs> my mom knit me a beanie, which is fine, but it does really truly give me like early 
early 2010s hipster energy, and I'm fine with it. But also, like, you know, uh, it's a thing. So fold up the ends. Oh, my mom was saying the same thing, but I don't, I don't know that I like that. Like, I don't know that that's me either. You know what I mean? Also, then it's too small for my head. <laughs> My head is massive! Anyways, that's not the point. So, what I was trying- why I was bringing this up is because this boy has a beanie, so you get it. Uh... Okay, knowing now that every- knowing now that every outfit has a different style, hold on. I do want to see both of the styles, sure. Okay. Oh, that was- okay, gotcha, gotcha. Good. For the punk's different style, it is 100% color choice. Love that for us. Okay. Hip Hopper Style 2 and Nerd Style 2, very similar. Is this the game's developers telling us that nerds and hip hoppers are more alike than they thought, and that you should listen to Nerdcore uh, from the early 2000s? Hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, Greaser having this like ball cap really makes me not think greaser style but then again i'm also thinking like like pony boy greaser right like maybe this is greaser i don't i, I don't know um and then yeah sure fine kind of want to go beanie kid but i like the color palette here more difficulty Skirmish. This is the standard difficulty level, offering a balance between exploration and challenge. Gorilla. This difficulty level is intended for players looking for a more challenging experience. Adventure. This difficulty level is intended for players... Oh, that's interesting. They have the easiest difficulty... Oh, wait, no, did it just wrap around? This difficulty level is intended for players wanting to focus on the story and exploration rather than on combat. Um, we'll try Skirmish, because that's what they said is the intended experience, right? Automatic difficulty scaling. Um, toggled on difficulty level automatically scales to the number of players in the current game. It's just going to be me, so yeah, sure, I'd like that. Um, let's go ahead and rock and roll, hey? I do like that I don't have the option to change my hair color. Uh, this is this is just this is just who I am. Uh, so enjoy that, folks. Greaser looks like small town southerner. I I have to wonder if Generation Zero is intended for a Swedish audience, like if it's localized for the U.S. or or what on that one. Yeah, because definitely small t uh, small town southerner energy. Sweden had an economic boom, having escaped the war. Okay. But the fear of another war remained. The government invested in what would become the Total Defense Program. Over the years, Sweden increased military spending Organizing civilian preparedness for future attacks. Oh, this is set in the 1980s, by the way. Every man, woman, and child was drilled to be ready for war. Knowing exactly what to do when the sirens sounded. Ostertor 1989, I apologize to any Swedish people. Also, wow, you and some friends spent a few days away, cut off from the world. The game audio was not this loud earlier, right? When returning, an explosive hits your boat. You don't know what fire or why. You make it to shore. Injured. But alive.
Okay. Break of dawn. This place is not safe. Maybe you can find some help in the nearby house. Search the house for anything of use. Oh, and is this... Is this... The starting zone from the menu screen. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and knock music down uh, a little bit more, hey? Wait, did that keep it? It did, okay. Um, okay, so looks like standard controls, WASD. Um, do they have motion blur on? Doesn't look like it. I'm, I, I do not play a lot of FPSs these days, so that's gonna be fun. Okay. Let me in your house. Do I have a flashlight? No. But I do now have adhesive, explosive gas tank, and Phoenix Runner voice box. Perfect. Oh, is this not the house? This is like a fishing shed next to the lake. And the house that I'm supposed to be exploring is up here? Sure. Yutervik weapons and collectibles. Oh. Good. Control is crouch, as it always is. Um... Textiles, cap forward, blue, brown. Oh, are they gonna let us, so can we customize what our character looks like? Uh, I see, okay. Okay, sure, and then we'll get different hairstyles or whatnot, fine. <laughs> oh no. I do like that uh, hair is just a different flavor of hat. I'm into that. What's this? This is Generation Zero Harley, an FPS that is um, that that is also featuring big stompy robots, set in Sweden in the 1980s. Uh, we got a free game code from Dare Drop. Good. Got a collectible, which you know I'm all about those collectibles. Maybe you know we are going to 100% the collectibles. Baby, you know there's no chance of us missing all of the collectibles. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, looks looks good. I love my plastic. I love my 32 ACP hollow point ammo. Hollow points, I think, are basically Skynet got bored and took over the Sweden in the 80s. Oh, okay. You like all the words I just said? You should check out Generation Zero then. And hey, hey, Raiju Biako. I I gotta I gotta be honest with you. We've been playing. A not inconsiderable amount of... Would hollow points be good against robots? I, I can't imagine that's the case. Uh, we've been playing mainly... I don't know why I just turned that off. That's not what I wanted. Uh, like, strategy games and JRPGs. I'm terrible with first-person shooters. So I don't know that... Oh, no, that's not what I want. I don't know that I'm going to be sort of a good uh, ambassador for this. But I am... Excited to try something new. Uh, so, can we uh, assign this to a hot bar situation? Oh, it's automatically assigned. Equip it to an equipment slot, use left to select heal. Hollow points are used for their lack of penetration, yeah. That's, you know what, that's fair, actually, if you get that initial, uh, initial point through. 
Nope, three is not what I wanted there. How do I assign? Is it E for clear slot? I see. And then when I come here, press E to assign to slot. Perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Flashlight, right? Uh, did I not pick up the flashlight? Do I not have a flashlight? I don't have a flashlight yet, of course. How, how foolish of me. I do have a boom box, however, so you know, that's fun. I have a baseball bat. I do love hitting powerful metal robots with a baseball bat. I, oh man, I'm approaching this right now like a, a zombie apocalypse situation, um, which will probably turn out to be bad for me, but Hachi Machi. Okay. Hollow points are good against components. Armor piercing is good for stripping armor, but lacks damage. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. I was wondering I was wondering whether or not I needed to pay attention to this kind of stuff. Wait. Why are the boombox and the radio... Hello? Is there going to be base building aspects? Oh, I'm... I'm not long for this world. So, <laughs> subtitles. Grandma, what's going on? I'm scared. I'm at the church. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Okay, cool. Just stealing the, the rings from this person's house? Uh, you know what? I said I was approaching this like a zombie apocalypse situation. They'd want the rings to go to good use, surely. Okay, now we have the flashlight. Fantastic. I just missed it coming in immediately. Oh, that's the caller's paternal grandparents. Could you tell uh, based off the words that were used, Pixie? You just go for full metal jacket because you can't be bothered to switch every five seconds. Yeah, um, my, again, my experience with, uh, FPS is, is extremely limited. But another game that does that is, um, Fallout, right? And it was just, I, like, I could not, like, they tried to make it comparatively easy, but it was really just not worth it in my opinion. Adrenaline shots, good. Oh, interesting. Your language skills are very basic and your spelling is worse. Hey, I mean, categorically better than uh, me, right? Interesting. I feel like I should finish exploring the house, but I did want to see if I could get onto the roof and see what I could see. This is gorgeous. Maybe it's just because, you know, I'm in Florida and there's no snow in the winter, but um, it's very pretty. You can switch it over to English voice actor. I was wondering, because it defaulted to Swedish voice acting, uh, do you think... Do you think it's better for immersion to do Swedish, or do you do you think yeah it should be in English to make it a little bit easier for for following the plot and the premise? Not me looking uh, directly above the sink as if there's some sort of medicine cabinet there. Archipelago region. Uh, nope, that's the boom box. That's not what I wanted. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, that's not what I want at all! 
Well, I didn't know that's what that was going to do. <laughs> I just got an achievement that said use the boom box to lure an enemy, which is uh -huh. <laughs> God, I'm glad I'm in the starting area. <laughs> Good, 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 Well, I sure hope that didn't lure an enemy because I didn't realize that's what the boom box did. Really hope I don't need that later. Okay. So now it's telling me to go down to the police car. Fine. Now hold on. Listen. Would it have actually said? Yeah, no, it does it does say in the inventory. Alright, Harley, you win this round round. Okay. Uh sure, fine. <laughs> Listen. Uh how dare you? I guess if I if I have the option to um sort of clear slots and deal with all of that stuff, right? I feel like I would want baseball bat on one, because that's a melee weapon, right? And melee weapon you'll always have an option for. Uh, ranged weapon on two. I cannot imagine me using a world, like, uh, using bi these binoculars very often, so we'll put them at the end. Um, I guess first aid kits on three? And then, yeah, if we need anything else, it'll come up when it comes up, right? I should not have had the boom box on my hotbar. I'll see what you mean once I leave the tutorial area. That that causes me genuine fear, Raiju. Plenty of radios, don't worry about them. Fair enough. Yeah, the game is set in Sweden, Battle Benoy, and the publishers are Swedish as well. So, um, uh, the default language was selected at... Uh, at Swedish, and I wasn't sure if we wanted to do that to sort of immerse ourselves in that a little bit more. Oh no, I didn't read that at all. Please not. And yeah, hey hey hey, 1NFK, we're playing a FPS with big stompy robots set in 1980s Sweden, so. Uh, police note. A short handwritten note found next to a deceased police officer a deceased I'm doing good speaking at Yettervik. It reads Friday, 1989, November 10th. Missing teenagers. Therese Knutsen, 18, granddaughter. That's the girl on the answering machine. Marie Granberg. Daniel Gardfors, friends. More friends. Names unknown. Fair enough. Last known location. Oh boy, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> if you can, if you can uh, speak perfect Swedish, let us know how that's pronounced. Reporters: Rolf and Zaida, grandparents and primary caretakers. Address: Yettervik, uh, municipality, municipality of Saltheim. Uh, location: Maybe uh, Knutson's family home, Yettervik Ferry Landing. So that's why this police officer was here. Uh, if the war comes, civil defense pa pamphlet. Front and back pages of the 1983 edition of the civil defense pamphlet, If the War Comes. During the Cold War, Swedish government issued a public information pamphlet, delivered it to every household as a part of the total defense program. The publication included instructions on how civilians were expected to act in case of na major national crisis, in particular an invasion by a foreign power or nuclear warfare. By the late 1980s, every citizen was aware of the Hesa Frederick, the nickname for the Swedish civil defense siren, uh, could start ringing at any time, knew where the nearest shelter, which belongings to take with them. Four types of warning signals, readiness alarm, uh, air raid alarm, important public announcement, danger over. Okay, sure. 
And then we already listened to Teresa's ma uh, message to her grandparents. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. And then shift, of course, is sprint. Can I say, I do like the game feel. Oh, 128 bullets. I am worried about the number of bullets they just gave me. If I'm being honest with you. That feels like a lot of bullets for them, for me to have right now. Okay, right click is aim down sights. Now, is it orange because they don't know where I am because I've been crouching this whole time like a coward? Or is it just always orange? <laughs> I ask because there is exactly one person who has identified any sort of knowledge of Generation Zero. Because, like, surely if I get closer to them, that's better. But also, if they're a horrifying robot monster, maybe not the case, right? Oh, no, they're just super far away. Okay, fine. Sure. Good. Mmm. That sound design. Oh, there's an alertness meter. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? That little that little white indicator and the arrow pointing sort of at them. Okay, sure, fine. How filled with hubris can I be? Pretty filled with hubris. Okay, sure. Good! Can you tell how good I am at FPSs? Oh boy! Oh man! Mmm, <laughs> this is gonna be a bad time! For everyone, myself especially. Follow the road to look for a safe place and maybe find Therese. Okay. Um, there was a there was a, a crosshair raiju uh, that had an orange box around it, and I wasn't sure if the cross if the orange box around it was sort of indicative of anything other than them being an enemy. Well, time to use up my first aid kits. Okay, sure, fine. Accelerant, sure. Getting getting a lot of crafting energy from this. Uh, did I get everything from the police car? I want to say yes. Bus stop, sure. Um... I'm... I gotta be real with you. I don't think I'm going to do well at this, but I do... I do love the game feel. Breaking news. Iron Curtain collapses. Soviet unrest. What happens now? The government, the Warsaw Pact, the armed forces. That's actually really smart. It has contextual subtitles based off of where you're pointing on the poster. I really like that. Ingvar Carlson declares the Berlin Wall has fallen. Interesting. Throw your trash here. Yeah, sure. Okay. I I do love this. So what? This is the this is the ferry stop or whatever. And then yeah, okay, the ferry comes in, the cars load up, sure. How good am I at parkour? Terrible. Is that, is that going to be um, a vital part of the experience? Because, uh, ooh boy. 
I hope you guys are ready for me to be bad at that. Ice cream cones, vanilla, chocolate. Fill the freezer today. I don't know if twelve fifty uh is a reasonable price for the nineteen eighties or not. But I do want some vanilla ice cream. Oh, I do have a stamina bar at the bottom left next to my health. It's the heart with the little EKG monitor. Climb on top of that small store thingy. Oh! Well, there. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this. Nope. At least not from that side. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. Maybe from over here. Oh, good, 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 good. I hope you're all ready for me to embarrass myself numerous times. <laughs> okay, nope. Uh, wait, hold on. Is it this? Oh, boy. No, it's not this either. Anyways. Hey, remember how when you asked how good I am at parkour? Mmm, here's your answer. <laughs> Uh, felt like that one was close. Oh boy. It feels a little slidey, which I guess makes sense for snow. Okay, here we are. Nice. Okay, hell yeah. Um, oh wait, hold on. Is that a different flavor of gun or handgun silencer? And it is a different flavor of gun. It's a nine millimeter. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so if I switch to that, I've got 17 bullets. Well, probably not going to use that then. How do I tell? Ah, there we go. Damage handling fire rate. Okay. Sure. We're going to stick with the one that we have more ammo for. But if I wanted to attach the handgun silencer. How do I do that? Or can I not do it for this one? Silencer attachment that fits all hand mods or handguns. Attaching this mod will significantly reduce the noise created by each shot. Oh, is this going to need a crafting bench or something like that maybe? Now, do all of the dead bodies have this layer of snow on top of them? Like, because it said that we were just in a boating accident, right? Like, how long have we been out? <laughs> I, I, one out of K, what do you mean by that? Oh, and then here we go. Nine millimeter full metal jacket. Okay. Uh, but only six, so probably gonna stick with the hollow point for right now. Oh wow, wacky. It opens uh, from the front. That feels like a miserable design for car mechanics. Twelve gauge bird shot. Good. Excited for when I get my uh, shotgun. You can do it from the inventory. Hover. Oh, hover over the gun. I see. Okay, hold on. I see it now. F for attachments, muzzles, handgun silencer. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, so, two for my default boy. Nice. Okay. Same, same, but different. All right. Are there ever, is there going to ever be anything inside the car seats? Or would you just open these to like try and take cover behind them? You wouldn't open these to take cover behind them. This does not feel like it is providing an exceptional amount of cover. Actually, can I hide inside the car? No, okay. Well, you know, I'm, we're, we're stress testing. It's the tutorial area. Uh, okay. 
You don't think car doors are good at stopping bullets? I mean, were you around in 1980s Sweden, you fiend? <laughs> Maybe all of the car doors were made out of ballistic gel. Did you consider that? Um, can I swim? Or am I about to be very disappointed in myself? I cannot swim. There's an invisible wall. Good to know. Also, it's probably freezing. I would probably actually die from hypothermia if I submerged my entire body like that. Um, as I do it a second time. True, they made stuff to last back in these days. Actually not what my point was, but now that you said it that way, that's what I meant the first time I said it, yeah. Dark clown makeup? Well, if you know anything about me, if you know, if you know anything about me, <laughs> Yeah, okay. We're literally never going to see our character. Sure, fine. Thank you for the clown makeup. I am, in fact, a jabroni. Um, you'll get over. You'll get over it, Harley. I know your heartbreak is uh, is uh, immeasurable. Um, youth was a Swedish grandma. Fair enough. You can sometimes find collectible collect collectibles. Ah, I see. Maybe guns in the trunk. Okay. Um. Oh my god, was that just the sound of me stepping, like, running over branches? Oh, that is going to give me a heart attack. Okay, sure, fine. Follow the road to look for Ibolheim, uh, Ibholmen Church. Pretty sure that pronunciation is wrong, but that's fine. Do I have a map? I do. Okay. Oh, interesting. And the house that I was just in is qualified as a safe house. Sure, 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 sure. Wacky. Okay. Plan seems to be a minor thing today. You're not wrong. Oh, yep. Out of stamina. Can we expand our stamina bar? It did look like there were levels, right? So we can probably level up as we go through. Oh, hello, explosive gas can. That feels like that'll be massively useful. Textiles and shoes, sure. Oh, no. Okay, well, actually, that was a very tactical <laughs> misfire on my behalf, because we became aware of a robot somewhere over here. I'm bad at shooters, I told you all. The real fun starts later, I believe it. Oh. I was about to say, can I make infinite snowballs? But the answer to that question was no. There was a, like, alert indicator that somebody heard me, right? Oh, hello! Okay. Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gag. Man... Oh, man. Where are they? Uh, did I assign the binoculars? I did not, because I am a fool. We just throw the explosive gas can all the way down at them. Nope, they can still see me. Where is this boy? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, assigned to slot. Sure, four. What is on four right now? I guess six, because I'm not going to use the canisters right now. Oh, hello! Hmm. 
Where is this boy? Oh, nope, sorry. I thought the bar completely filled for visibility. That was just the snow in the background overlaid on the black thing. Um... Where... Where are you? Are you... Oh, is it, is it that? Okay. Okay. I mean... I can take that guy. He's so small. Yeah, fuck it. Oh god, there's- okay, hold on. Oh no, not happy about that, actually. Okay, yep, I should have realized there'd be more than uh, one of them, that makes sense. Okay, oh no. I also thought that whole time I was crouched, so not being crouched does kind of explain why they could see me so easily. Oh! Hey, bud. Bye, bud. Okay. That was easy. Actually, why am I even scared? FPSs? Baby games for baby gamers. This is gonna be fine. Kicks, yeah. I, you're gonna have to give me a pronunciation guide if you want me to even attempt that, Pixie. So I can't open these. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, there are sometimes things in the water. Okay, sure, fine. God. Not saying that I'm grateful for all of these first aid kits, because I'm going to be dying all the time. But... So I imagine the hollow point ammunition did better against them because they were like little picks, right? And so they probably don't have incredible armor plating. Can you quote me that in about an hour or so on the uh, FPS baby games for baby gamers? Uh, listen, <laughs> you can. Mainly because I've never even once committed hubris in my entire life. If I shoot that bird, can I get, like, bird meat? Is this that kind of crafting game? But you know what this, um, this, like, vibes-wise reminds me of right at, at this exact moment is, um... Uh, not Daisy. What was the, what was the zombie shooter multiplayer that was first person, but, like, got wacky? It was, like, Seven Days to Die. I think it's Seven Days to Die that I'm thinking of. Um, this, this is giving me, like, vaguely that same energy I got from Seven Days to Die, which was a, like, I was very into that game for a while as well. Similarly terrible at it, but, you know. Is there anything on top of this building worth getting to? Could I even do it if I wanted to? Probably not. Any petrol? Any gasoline? You're gonna sign me up for a pro FPS tournament? Sharp, how dare you? Also, it's good to see you, Sharp, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tense because I am, again, bad at FPSs, so. Biggest thing you've seen is a uh, runner. Oh, the dogs are called runners. Okay, sure. I mean, how much how much bigger can they get?
surely runners are the biggest that they'll ever be. Lock pick, lock pick hairpin, sure. Oh, and I can see where the like diversifying into like playing with friends goes, right? You have one friend who specs into being like the lock picker. You have a friend who specs into like maybe crafting or whatever. Now, I presume snowballs ignored by enabling the snowball immunity setting in the multiplayer menu. Oh, are they are they just for doing multiplayer stuff? Can you not use them on enemies? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a pretty consistent theme. <laughs> I Generally speaking, don't do multiplayer on games the first time that I undergo them, but I will admit this does seem like it would be a really fun game to play with other people. So if this is just the 1980s of Sweden, right? Like this feels like a truly... Bizarre... Like these robots feel way too technologically advanced, right? I mean... That is a part of the, the design philosophy, I'm sure. So do you think we'll need a death counter? No way. Me? Best at games demised? My famous name? Oh, should we go up over here to this like cluster of buildings to see if there's more loot? Or do you think we should just follow quest objective? I run very slowly. And I wonder if they are going to give us vehicles, right? Or at least some sort of upgrade to our stamina. It is beautiful, though. Is it just me, or are the gunshots a lot louder than everything else? I've put a lot of the setting, the audio settings down. Um, we can try bringing sound effects lower as well. Oh, robot drawings on walls. Pay attention, they'll give us hints. Okay. Sure. I am the king of paying attention to hints. Combat is not always the best approach. Sometimes stealthy pays off and saves bullets. That's a terrible thing for you to tell me right now. I looked at that rock and I thought, what if that rock was a landmine? Uh, and then I just proceeded to walk over it. So, yeah, there are the dogs. The runners. Oh, that's what you meant by the yellow lines for them scanning. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Sure, fine. Okay. I mean, the way to the right seems like extremely easy. I wish there was a way to mark them, which there might be. It might just be a, um, a feature you unlock later. What? Oh, fuck. Well, pardon me. Well, that's a bad sign, I think. Famously, very brave.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And it alerted all of the dogs, huh? Oh, hello. That's a lot of dogs! Uh, I like that the game was like, Hey, try being stealthy! Uh, you want us to conserve ammo? What a fun idea. What a fun idea, game. No, turns out I am less durable than a robot made out of metal, huh? Who'd have thought it? Okay, good, 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 good. This is going exactly how we want it to. I do have a baseball bat. I do have a baseball bat, and I can hit them with the baseball bat. Probably. I mean, not if I run away like that again. But also, we only saw three dogs, right? So surely, there are only three dogs. If I don't see them, they're not real. Oh, and this would be a situation where I could have used the boombox to lure the enemies away if I was actually playing stealth. Sure, fine. I did not search the truck. That is an excellent point, Pixie. Hello? Any big scary robots over here? No? Great. Oh no! Big fan of that. Okay, sure. Cool. So what is it? Was it what is it going to turn out? The runners are sort of the, the searcher boys, and then you have um you have other bigger, scarier lads that the runners alert. Is that sort of the energy? You think I should try to parlay to save ammunition? Ah, excuse me, Mr. Robot Dog. Have you considered Oh, sure. Letter with the hunter's address. Side mission. Kurt Algren, Bjorknas, Ibholmen. That's not. Listen, anyways. Kurt, that's it. I can't stand living in Stockholm anymore. Far away from you. Oh, this wasn't for me, I suppose. I'll visit one of these coming weekends. Let's go hunting together soon, shall we? Guess hunting has grown on me a bit. Ani. Oh, they're so dead. Oh, they've never been more dead. Oh, their love is dead and they're dead, but also very cute. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Another pair of binoculars. Fine, love that. Do I need to worry about encumbrance? Oh, I do have a weight. Interesting. Oh yeah, okay, I see it here now. 15 out of 64. Sure, okay. And is this the side quest? The hunter? You know what? The hunter might have a rifle. So I am actually going to go do that first. <laughs> Maybe? Oh no. Oh, I see I've exhausted your helpfulness. <laughs> oh no.
Here's my other question, right? Do you think going through the tree line is better because more trees obscure line of sight, right? And the robots are clearly capable of shooting. Or do you think it's worse? Oh, sure. Can I gather wood? I'll just build a Minecraft house out here and then I won't have to worry about the robots. Oh no. Okay. Okay, here's another lad. Now here's my question. The first boy, last time, brocked the other boys. So do you think there's even a points in silencing the gun? Mm. Oh, hello, dog. You move faster than me, which makes sense. You are a robot dog. And, like, dogs already move faster than me. Oh, no. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. I have 11 bullets in this one now. Sure would like a shotgun. Okay, so let's switch to the 9mm. And let's give it the handgun silencer. Okay, cool, perfect. You don't want to spoil me the joy of discovering the rest of the game. You may drop advice here and there if you think I need it. Oh no! Uh, five is what I want. Man, truly there is nothing more terrifying than I want you to organically experience something. Um, mainly because I am a terrified child. I was wondering if there's going to be weather events. That sounded very weather eventy, no? Now the damage on the clock, which, is that how it's pronounced? Does it sound suspiciously like Glock? Genuinely no idea what is just cultural, uh, like, normalcy, right? Because, like, if I saw that it was called, um, you know, a, a Glock or a, like, Beretta or whatever, right? Like, those are just... American arms manufacturers that I'm aware of, right? So I presume all of the guns in here will be guns local to Sweden. And so therefore, um, I'm sure the names will make more sense there, but yeah. I need a shotgun. I've got 12 gauge ammunition. Um, the thing is, the game is still absolutely gorgeous, right? Okay. Like, I like the design of the runners, right? I think that's cool. I'm very curious about whether or not we can actually pull off like one of the runners from the other or if they're all alerted by it. Clock is a Glock, nine, uh, N9 is an M9 and so on. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I wanted to be, I wasn't 100%. Do you actually have to give licensing rights to the firearms manufacturers if you use if you use one of their guns in your game? That's crazy. Also, I probably shouldn't try to Skyrim my way down this rock face. But I'm doing it. 
because it's a video game. Oh, this feels like this is going to kill me if I land down here, huh? Oh, this feels like guaranteed death, huh? Oh, no, it was fine. Okay. I mean, theoretically, if I'm just here for supplies, right? What is the effective... Oh, no! What is the effective range on the boombox? Because could I put, like, the boombox out here to, like, dry, like, drag them all over here? Oh, no. Please stop looking for me. Do they have a leash range where they'll, like, reset back to their patrol? Or will they just, like, hunt me down? God, calling them runners, too, really just makes me think of, like... So hunting dogs are are normally bred not only for speed, but for stamina. And a part of that is a lot of the original philosophy behind humans being hunters, is that humans aren't very fast either, right? But what we lack in... What we lack in... Um, speed we make up for in endurance and stamina so the idea is is that you just run them down so they're tired right and it does look like they have a, a sort of leash range um so when you when you run them down into the point of exhaustion when they're tired they'll make mistakes and in the process of making mistakes that's when you can sort of really uh get them i cannot imagine that as design sort of intent I'm supposed to sneak all the way around these labs, right? Like, that can't be the design philosophy. The design philosophy has to be combat, surely. Because, like... How would I even get inside the house with those dweebs? Also, the clock feels... So much nicer, can I just say? Oh, hello! Turns out just crouching doesn't make me magically avoid bullets. Oh, there are two of you. Hmm, good, 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 good. Let me just go ahead and put this compress directly onto my face where my blood is coming out. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Oh. Mmm, good. Glad I missed all of those shots. Bullets don't seem like they're going to be a scarce resource in this game. Oh, God. Okay, sure, fine. Nikes, thank you. Oh, no. I would like to not die right now. It's still tutorial land. That would be embarrassing. Now, is the dog... Hmm. Is the dog going to pass up the gentle slope? It looks like they did. Oh, no, they didn't. They're just down there, and I'm an idiot. I'm not going to be able to see the dogs in this. Where are you? Oh. God damn it, please! <laughs> this is, um, going well. I think we can all agree. I think we can all agree? Phenomenal opener. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm just out of bullets. Oh, good! I love it. I'm out of bullets. Okay, that could have gone better. <laughs> we can distract them. We literally got a, uh, a boombox for that exact purpose. I just thought, how many first aid kits do we have? Three? Good. I'm sure that was about as optimal as one could possibly play, and that no one will have any commentary about how I could have done better there. 
<sighs> Three dogs, 100 rounds wasted away. Come on! <laughs> Which makes sense. It looks like the ruins of some previous building. I thought all of these rocks were ticks, and I was about to be very unhappy. Oh, interesting. Okay. If I was actually doing stealth, I could have, like, come in here to hide, maybe. Okay, sure. Oh, what do the emergency flares do? Is this, like, Alan Wake? Can I kill the dogs using a flare? Emergency road flare that machines see as a target, medium range, lower, high effectiveness. Cue me saying 10 seconds ago that this game can't be designed with stealth in mind. I am an idiot. There's a skill on the right tech tree that gives 50 to 100% more ammo. I have a strange feeling you may need it. What do you mean? I'm sure we'll be fine. Also, heads up, it looks like we're going to be going into an ad break, so I'm actually going to take this opportunity to, um, to take a break myself, because here's the other thing about FPSs in me. Uh, not only do we get along like a house on fire, um, I, I do, I do like, tense up and stuff. So I'm gonna run a real quick right tech tree called salvage. Thank you, Raiju. We're gonna go on a very quick, <laughs> we're gonna go on a very quick break. Uh, it's gonna be no longer than three minutes. And when we return, uh, we're gonna do some more of Generation Zero. See you all soon. Lots of flames and screaming. You get it. back a little early chat 
Um, and that's just because I also want to touch base, because I know I'm getting very into it. Um, before I get to Captain Distractoed, uh, I do need to do a couple of dare drops. Um, specifically, this is to try and do things like uh, get, get more copies of the game. So if we uh, talk like a robot for five minutes, um, and if we try and do a David Attenborough impression for, uh, or narrate your gameplay like it's a National Geographic special for 10 minutes. We can get uh, two copies of the game that we can give out to other people. So you guys can't let me forget. We've got to do that at some point in time during the stream today. Um, and then when we when we get the game keys, we can go ahead and uh, we can raffle those out to people. So. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's the ad break over. So let's get back into the ding dang thing, hey? Also, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be just truly the most crunchy, hunched man that you've ever seen. So I need you guys to use the posture command for me, please. Cause like, oh, y'all, my posture has been so bad recently. But also, if I just gamed like this, I don't know. I guess it'll make me hunching over in fear have more effect. What's this tiny house? Is this tiny house for a dog? Who is this tiny house for? Is it like for your kids? Do you build tiny houses for your kids to play in? I love it. Dang, okay, sure. Uh, we also learned earlier that sometimes boats have loot, so we will check the boat as well. No dice, right? Yeah, okay. No dice. Well. Okay. Oh no! Oh, okay. It doesn't. It doesn't kill you if you fall in the water. It just resets you to land. Sure, fine. Can you use that to escape the bad guys? I also assume the robots can't be inside houses, which I feel like will be an assumption that will lead to my downfall, but you know me. That's for the kids when they're grounded. Real put them out in the doghouse energy, hey? Yes! Is that supposed to be a Mauser? Mauser hunting rifle? Um, we are definitely putting this on our hot bar, right? We don't have any attachments for it. Oh... Oh, it feels very good to have... Well, okay. I don't actually know how much stronger it is, right? So, oh, it looks like it is a lot stronger, right? If this is what the clock and this is what the mauler look like. That is a significant improvement. <laughs> I, Raiju, I looked at no bullets and then I immediately wanted to uh, cry, so thank you. Um, even if even if you, you were uh, slightly incorrect. Oh, perfect. Literally a scope. Holy shit. Oh, that was just the sound of the mission being complete. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, perfect. Oh, truly, truly the weapon for a like oh oh yes 
Oh, it's game over for the robots. Uh, except for when they, you know, get close to me and then I start panicking, which will happen almost immediately, I'm sure. Interestingly, this house did not have a car. We could continue to go down this trail and around. Um, that kind of feels like a bad idea because there will almost certainly be more robots. And then I will almost certainly waste more ammunition than I gain. But, you know, this is me we're talking about. When have I ever learned from my lessons in the past? Fifth counter win, I feel like we need it. Uh, okay, hold on. I can make a death counter pretty easily, I think. Text. Death counter. We'll go ahead and do... Sketch block. And then we'll do it for while we're down here, because bottom right feels fine for this game so far. Uh, does top left have any important information? I don't think so, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, lurk time. We'll catch you, Clary. Thank you so much for being here and for hanging out. Okay. Just a normal fire. <laughs> um, oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, sorry. Does escape actually pause the game? Let me go ahead and set up a nightbot command for it as well. I don't think we have a death. Uh, 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 we've got a follow age command. Yeah, okay. Uh, exclamation mark, death. You gonna poke at the photo mode? Maybe. It's very cute. Um. Oh, no. The mice died. Okay, and we'll see, we'll, we'll use exclamation mark death when it comes up, because I'm watching you, chat. Yeah, the grass does seem to be moving, hey? Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Well, this seems to be boating well already. If I go back up and around, up that way, I might be able to get a vantage point on the dogs that they can't see me. Okay. 
Also, I do not like how just sort of like, no, instinctively and natively, I've just started referring to them as dogs. Because they're obviously like robots, right? Nice. Okay. Two shots to take out the dog. That felt, oh no. Mm. Okay, listen. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Consider, no, hold on, consider. I didn't think this through. Oh, this is bad. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, do they just blow up by themselves or did I actually hit him? Okay. Range does seem to adversely affect the robots as well, fortunately. Okay, well, that was just a miss. Was that also a miss? Okay, well, this is going worse now, has to be said. Oh, God. Nine millimeter ammo, sure, fine. Okay, now I don't have... Yikes, okay. Oofa doofa. Okay. Um, the hunting rifle feels nice, though, right? For whatever that's worth. Dog is hund. The dog is hunden. Dogs are hundarna. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I forgot about explosive gas tanks. Could you... Put down an explosive gas tank, a boombox, go away, and then blow it up? Is that is that what you're supposed to do with these situations? Oh boy. Gasoline! Okay, so we can we can car. Can I just run over the robot dogs in a car? Surely, surely if I can do that, I just do that. And then I never have to worry about robot dogs ever again. Surely. What? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Is it a tick again? Yeah, it's a tick, okay. Oh no, it's more than a tick. Or it's a second tick? Okay, fine. Hmm. Good, 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 good. Okay, time to switch back to using the Glock. Good, 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 good. Glad I got all of that ammo. We're having a great time. All of us. Oh, I forgot to loot. Small fusion cell, huh? I forgot to loot the other dogs. Okay, hold on. Nope, I didn't forget to loot the other dogs. I'm just an idiot. Okay. Oof.
It is... Yeah, I'm very curious about the discrepancy in technology, right? Which also, it's making me start to wonder, do you think this is actually useful that I'm accumulating all of these bits and bobs? Or are we going to discover that, like, when we get to the actual true game, um, none of this was a worthwhile endeavor? And, like, we are going to have to start over from scratch again. Also, the sound design on this game is so good. majesty of the Swedish countryside. Observe the gently rolling snowy mountains and the absolute lack of anything which resembles some sort of murderous robot. It's in times like these that we're made aware of truly how behemoth, uh, be behemothic nature is and the wonders that comes with it. I do not have a lock-picking skill, so I can't get inside this building, which is unfortunate, because I did really want to uh, be able to get something out of coming all the way down here, which it does not look like I will be able to do. Have I learned my lesson? And instead, we'll go back to the core gameplay loop? No. No, I have not. Nor will I ever. I will instead continue to foster ma my way onwards in the idyllic countryside through the gently rolling hills and uh, clear roadways and footpaths. Uh, down into these smaller buildings, following the telephone wires. Uh, as I continue to crest hills and follow, uh, not the path directly, but instead walk approximately five feet to the left of it, so that way I'm getting my foot caught in mud and breaking branches and twigs underneath, I can't help but reflect on the situations that brought me here. Uh, some flavor of boating accident. Um, of course, as we've learned about the Swedish total defense situation. Truly, we live in very unfortunate times, it must be said. Part of that misfortune, of course, being which way are the runners coming up the hill? Because if they're going the long way around, then it would be less worrisome. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription, Bluffbot. Uh... <laughs> Thank you for the 28 months. No, we're we're not. I you don't need to use the death command. It look at how still and beautiful nature is in all of its wonder. Technology could never surpass the wonderment and joy. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, that comes uh, with being able to enjoy a nice stroll through Sweden. No, 
now. Is that a leaf? Or is that the runner? I escaped combat giving you XP? That feels like that would be highly exploited. But I... I'm really happy to sort of get whatever advantages I can, truth be told. Because, as you all know, I'm a lover, not a fighter. But I will do whatever it takes to continue my trip through uh, the countryside of York Maskogan, my favorite winter or summer retreat. I'm not entirely sure of the date. It did say November of 1982, so perhaps my favorite winter retreat. You get it. Um, but yeah, that honestly went a lot better than I thought it would. Right. <laughs> you don't think the robots care if I'm a pacifist? But surely, as all living creatures on this earth, we can recognize and understand one another. And even if it is an artificial life all of the robots have, then it is a life of a sort, is it not? And Ender Friend, thank you so much for re-upping your sub with us for 29 months. Hachi Machi. Uh, I hope... I hope you're enjoying me being bad at a shooter. Because, oh boy, am I... Am I having a heck of a time. You forgot to hit the button before. Well, thanks for doing it now. You getting cut off by explosions and loud gunfire is funny uh, because you're listening and not watching. Oh, I'll, I'll try and do I'll try and do a better job of uh, describing what's going on. There appears to be some sort of creature inside of this broken and abandoned shack, and when I round the corner, we will be face to face with one of nature's most terrifying creatures, the tick which normally is known for being a carrier of disease and pestilence, but in this instance is a small robot that jumps on your face and electrocutes you, because it is, again, a robot. Did I get it? Well, I won combat, so I think I got it. Uh, fantastic. That's excellent news. <laughs> of course, the tick's natural predator is any sort of explosive canister just sort of laying on the ground. <laughs> um, I really, I, I, I probably should have grabbed the canister from inside of this box, um, so that way it wasn't trigger uh, triggered by proximity. We'll have to keep that in mind for next time. But uh, anyways, <laughs> did you even shoot it? No, I, I shot I shot the explosive canister next to it. Um, which really is just sort of an object lesson in how useful the explosive canisters are, um, especially for like being able to go around corners and stuff like that. I, we will have to try and remember that for the future. <laughs> Robots be like, yo, that dude is a pacifist. Target practice is back on the menu. <laughs> but have the robots... Have... Has anyone... Oh, there's a weapon in Taludan. Okay. Has anyone truly extended the hand of friendship to the robots? Or was the hand of friendship only extended out of fear? Never giving the robots an opportunity to truly love one another to truly feel the embrace of, of kindness for one's fellow man, much like the mother pachyderm to her baby elephants. Perhaps I too can raise a legion 
of small robot ticks that obey my every command and murder my enemies for me. Um, okay, now it's saying in... Oh, is this another roof situation maybe? Oh no, it's just another pistol. Okay. Which pistol did we get? We got another molar. But this one... Oh no, it's just the exact same one. So if I was, um... If I was playing with a friend, would that be the situation where... Uh... I... Like, I can offer that to them? Or can I have this one be attached to the full metal jacket? And this one attached to the hollow point. Oh, I see. Okay, that's actually really nice as well. Um, so you can assign different guns, different ammo, and you can sort of switch between the two of them as well. That feels... I don't know. Maybe good? We'll see. Oh, does it, does it switch the ammo for both of them? Because this one's on Full Metal Jacket. And this one says it's on Hollow Point. Or or is that no... Is it is it a worthwhile endeavor? Uh, hey, hey, Anini one. It's good to see you, Rai. We're playing a little bit of Generation Zero, which is a game set in 1980s Sweden. Uh but also with killer robots. And I'm, frankly, a massive scaredy cat. Just press N and switch between the ammo types. Can you do that outside of um, the inventory though? Because I, I feel like doing it I feel like doing it inside of the inventory... Like, I'm wondering if there is a, a reason to do it in, like, a high-stress situation, if that makes sense. Or whatever key you have it set to. Do we have... Let's check our controls, yeah. Um... We're switching ammo. Oh, it does say N. Hold on. So why is this... Oh, it is. It, it, it does do it for you. All right, listen, Raiju. I thought I was being clever, okay? <laughs> Maybe, sometimes, <laughs> you just want to switch guns instead of reloading. Nobody do the math on which is faster between reloading and switching guns. I don't want to know whether or not I'm right or wrong. I just want to assume I'm correct in traditional American fashion. You need to have different types of ammo to give that option. I see, okay. Not the menacing death counter at the top. We're gonna be fine. I don't know why Raiju seems to think that we're going to be in terri a terrible position, but obviously, Dog robots are the biggest possible robots that we can encounter. So clearly, I'm on the top of the robot food chain, as can be observed by my excellent physique, tactics, aim. I've definitely not missed nearly half of the shots I've taken. Um, but yeah, I'm actually a giant scaredy cat when it comes to FPSs, which ironically enough, um, I do like FPSs is the thing, right? Like, I'm not bad at them. At least I don't think I am. But, um... They are... Uh... A lot of fun. And they, like, they keep the adrenaline pumping, right? Which is good for days like this, where I am sitting at three hours of sleep. Uh, so, I'm not going to be at the absolute apex of my abilities, but uh, you know. 
Now you might be wondering to yourself, Demise, why did you come up here to pursue through the middle of this wooded mountaintop instead of simply going down and following the road? And I will tell you, dear listener, dear viewer, that it is precisely for these tents you see before you. Now, I am going to shoot this runner and waste all of my hunting ammo, but I want you to take this as an abject lesson in the value of exploration. Okay, that's one runner down. Okay, second runner is coming. Oh god. Ah oh, shit, there's a third runner. Uh, pardon me, what I meant to say was, uh, you will notice now the natural um, uh, hunting tactics of the hunter, of the runner, in fact, is to hunt in groups, which... Uh, could be dis disadvantageous for someone using some sort of slow bolt action. Oh! Do they have like an ammo pack on their backs that explode? Is that what that was? Of course, everyone is aware. Oh no, that's a lot of bullets directly to my face. Nope, I guess that last one was a real kind of fluke shot situation. Uh, oh boy, that's a lot more bullets to my face, hey? Oh no, that one was also a, like one shot kill, I think. Wacky, okay. Half the shots, that's a generous estimation. You'd say roughly 80. What do you mean, 80? Ain't no way I'm missing 80% of my shots. Chat, don't go back and count, please. Do not check how many shots I've missed. That would be rude. <laughs> um, but yeah. When you are stuck in the wilderness uh, in a in a potentially hostile, foreboding land, the most efficacious use of your time and resources is to explore... Oh, I can be inside the tent. Let me zip up. This is a nice tent. Sorry. I... Sorry. I'm actually... I'm actually distracted by how nice this tent is. Um... This is definitely... This would definitely be sold as a two-person tent. And I am now stuck inside the tent. I'm leaving the tent. Um, I went camping recently. Uh, and I've got to admit, sometimes touching grass is okay. Um, you know, I wouldn't recommend it all the time. But it, it has its moments. Another boombox. Okay. We've heard we've heard lightning strike before. And of course, we all know in nature that lightning just goes ahead and sort of strikes the near, the tallest object because that provides the path of least resistance down to the earth, which is the ultimate grounding. Um, and of course, uh, it does also depend on the conductivity of the material. Do we think that Generation Zero sort of uh, uh, adheres to a, a more naturalist viewpoint on that, and so the lightning is mainly ambient, or do we think that the lightning will strike us and potentially incinerate us instantaneously? Uh, let's also... I presume that was some sort of... Oh, was that just another flashlight? Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I thought it was going to be a tape recorder or something. Uh, 
you're playing a samurai game and you thought your gun my gunshots were in your game and you're very con you were very confused uh rai it's the meiji restoration be careful <laughs> Uh, th there are just a bunch of guns everywhere. <laughs> Did your campsite also have a few corpses lying around? Uh, when in uh, do or die sort of circumstances, um, one learns not to take in the adverse effects of their environment, such as corpses or lots of small children screaming at 9 p.m. when you're trying to bed down for the evening. And instead, you learn to take in the wonders of nature, like the copious amounts of mosquitoes because you live in a swamp state, or um, other such benefits as... Fresh air, which I do imagine actually now that I think about it, the decomposing corpses would probably have an adverse effect on the fresh air, but consider it's very cold. There's lots of snow everywhere. And so therefore, maybe that stalls the corpses. Uh, decomposition uh, keeps the air nice and crisp. Uh, can someone... <laughs> keep a timer for when I started doing the silly voice because uh, I need to do it for 10 minutes for the for the dare <laughs> and I'm sure much like the mighty <laughs> raccoon because that's the only animal that I can think of at a campsite right now uh, dare drop will Indulge me uh, a moment of forgiveness for my temporary lapses in talking as if this was some sort of National Geographic special. <laughs> I'm on my own there. No. Just keep, uh, just keep going. We're good. Okay. <laughs> I'm. Listen. I'm not saying that genuinely, if I could switch between living in the United States in Florida versus being in uh, the Swedish countryside, I'd probably prefer, on a balance, uh, the Swedish countryside. But in the interest of fairness, um, there are no robots trying to murder me in Florida. Just the native inhabitants of Florida, which are significantly so, swings and roundabouts, really. Ten minutes with no counter, ten hours confirmed. Right! Because the other dare for Generation Zero, in order for us to get free game keys that we can give away, the other dare is, um... To talk like a robot for five minutes, and I... Excuse me. I do not know how I'm going to get away with that one. Schematics. Missions. So that's going to be the mission for the chick. And, um... I guess schematic is going to be sort of... Crafting recipes. And two collectibles. Which we'll try and get, sure. <laughs> uh, fair enough, Pixie, but I would make the argument that the unnaturally high preponderance of murder robots in Sweden in the 1980s, in Generation Zero, is probably higher than the number of police robot dogs that have been commissioned by Boston Dynamics. I'm not going to say that with any definitive nature, because... Uh, it is possible that I am wrong. It is always possible that I am wrong. Um, but also, I feel like the fact that there are so many of the robot dogs in this game is, is um, in part deterministic by the fact that it is a video game. <laughs> that is a bleak and incredibly depressing thought, Pixie.
I'm not stressed out about the sound design of this game. The... Uh, oh, wait. Firework overloads a machine's threat identifying circuits. Oh, could you use fireworks to blind the robots? Oh, man, imagine reading what, like, any of my items do and then using them to that end. Wow. Also, I read that as small fusion cell, and that's not what it is. It is a small fuel cell. Mm. It's true. They do travel in herds. anyone down there oh thank goodness i'm upstairs by the organ I, i'm in pain i need help now oh storage box ah uh, i see okay that's very interesting um, storage box, easily recognizable by its product name. Plundra can be used to store any items or equipment you collect in the field. Automatically made available at any safe house. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Just trying to see Trunks and Gotan be like, small fusion. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I'm allowed to just talk about anything as though it's a National Geographic ad, but also. Okay, I've, I've not understood. Okay, no matter what, we're going to put away one of our pistols, right? Because we've, we've officially learned that there's like kind of no point to that. To having two of them. Now, the mighty hunter is faced with a difficult choice. To save Teresa or conserve what little resources they have and bludgeon her to death with the baseball bat. I do, um really like the architecture of this church like i mean uh, for any for anybody who has uh interacted with me in any amount of fashion you know i'm like very very into like paladins and that sort of thing um but also i, I like i was raised in the like lutheran uh denomination um and so like i don't know the like the like faint like, uh, choir, like, music in the background and stuff. And yeah, it being a lot more quiet. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, is, is definitely, like, a, a nice impact on this place. Um. Well. Can we, can we take out Teresa? Like, I, I hope not, actually. Thank you for the uh, Hydrate Redeem and the Posture Redeem Pixie. I'll go ahead and do that. There's something peaceful about a touch of civilization and the promise of something more than the barbarity of the robots in these in these quiet moments but they are of course artificial and fleeting and temporary in their nature modulator voice box it does feel as though we've been given a lot of robot parts. Which is strange. Because it does not seem like a situation where we'd want robots. Hmm. 
making a new robot really does sort of feel like putting a hat on top of a hat, if you know what I mean. Oh! Well, sorry. Pardon me. Um... Okay. Never mind. It does not seem like putting a hat on top of a hat for uh, building a robot. It seems like we are definitely going to be getting our own robot friend. <laughs> oh, check the wall. Okay, hold on. One second. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, uh, check the wall, you said. Oh! Oh! I see what you mean, Raiju. Okay, right, yeah, so we did accidentally shoot the, uh, the, the tank on one of the runners earlier to get a one-hit kill. And then I've been natively aiming at the sort of head of the robot. But what that's what this what this wall is covering is implying, right, is that the head is armored. Oh, thank you, Raiju. The robots, just as any sort of naturally evolved creature, appear to be specialized in their tasks and with unique abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. Big pockets? The better to hold my big banana and smile. That... We're not sending that clip to the dare drop. Now go dunk on some doggos. I'm excited! Okay. Oh, you're real. I didn't imagine things. Press Z to go prone! Oh no. Oh no. Wait. She's not here. Is she... Real? Okay. So there's supposed to be... There's supposed to be a person here? <laughs> Did Teresa heard us talking about how we were going to eliminate her to conserve resources? And the game was like, I gotta hide Teresa from this madman. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Okay, sure. Interesting. So this is this is some more of that crafting, right? This kind of reminds me a little bit of um Death Stranding as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sure. Then we can craft ammo, which is nice. We can craft gasoline. We can craft repair kits. Okay. First time don't see her. Uh you'll have to you'll have to confirm for us uh how how uh, would you smash or pass Teresa, Raiju? Or is Teresa, like, a child, in which case, bad? NPCs have become sentient and no longer want to do their job, quiet quitting and all that? God, could you imagine? Smashing who now? Well, we can't see Teresa, so we have to, we have to trust Raiju's judgment. Because there's supposed to be a person right here. She sounded grown, right? Yeah, but I would I would also say there are plenty of characters in fiction who sound grown out of like narrative necessity, right? Give me that baseball bat and I do uh Hulk smash. No. Okay. Have you tried saving and reloading? It doesn't look like we have a save and reload option. Um I wonder if the game just auto saves, yeah. Maybe she's a ghost? Maybe. All right, let's try and talk to her and see if the game will load in her my model. My name's Therese. Oh, Therese. I hurt my leg and arm pretty bad. Yeah? If that's okay, can you make me a first aid kit? There are some instructions on how to do it over there. Here, you can have this walkie-talkie. We should make sure not to lose contact, right? Therese, I don't mean 
to make you worry. I think you need a lot more than a first aid kit, girl. Could you go get my scout gear outside, if you don't mind? It's next to Miss Bikey. I have all you need to make a first aid kit. I... I can't go back out myself. Yeah? I had to just drop all my stuff. I was too slow and I was in so much pain. Yeah? That's tragic. I can tell by your body language that you are in copious amounts of pain and are unhappy. Am I even looking in the right direction? Where is Therese supposed to be? Sure, fine, okay. What? A gun called Old Beltran, sure. Wait, how did I get this mission? What is happening right now? I... Open map, teleport to the safe house you're in. Maybe this fixes it. Oh, I see. Okay. Should, like, try and reload the instance. Um, and also, while we're here, let's store some of the extra stuff we have, right? We don't need the binoculars because now we have the hunting rifle. All right, let's go. Let's go see if she's back. Grandpa doesn't want any guns around the house. I wanted to look for the key myself, but with all those machines, I just couldn't. Okay. The race. Don't know how you knew that I did that, but fair enough. Nope. We're still we're still down one Therese, which this blood splatter on the ground makes me worried. Like, did I not come here in time and she died to robots or something? Oh boy, girly pop. Nah, she's still a ghost, yeah. Okay, well. In time, in nature, we come across things that are... Ooh! You found are... Old Nice. It's rusty. But Grandpa went hunting recently, so it should still do the job. You keep it. Guns. Not my thing. Oh, Therese. It's kind of a silly thing to say during the robot apocalypse. Oh my god, is there a window in the way? Or did I just miss? Okay, fantastic. Y'all can't come inside the safe house, right? Oh shit. God damn it. Uh, the bullets hitting the bell make the bell ring. That's actually a really nice touch. Okay. Well, 
I'm down more bullets than I'd like, but you know what? We did take less damage from that than we would have in the past. So while I'm still down on bullets, I'm, I'm up in other resources. Let's go ahead and assign the shotgun. Do I only have six bullets for it? That can't be the case. Oh, birdshot versus, what does it currently have? Buckshot, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Um, what am I going to assign you to? I guess if we clear slot, Go back in and assign you. I, if I'm panicking, I'm going to want a shotgun before I'm going to want the hunting rifle. And then I'm going to want, I'm going to want the molar first because I'm using it for the hollow point. And then I'm going to want... Yeah, you here. Okay, sure, fine. So one, baseball bat if we're somehow out of ammo. Two, uh, hollow point. We can switch back and forth with the end button, which is super useful information to have, but not strictly speaking helpful right now. Um, the hunting rifle, which is worth its weight in gold. Why is there incredibly intense music happening. The pump action shotgun. Which I guess let's do bird shot for right now, just because we have more of the bird shot. The uh, nine millimeter ammo. And then that's that's our loadout, so yeah. Thank you. I do I do try to iterate and improve on my past performances, believe it or not. Now, do I succeed in improving? Not always. But I try. Now, we got a new schematic did we not yeah so we have one equipment schematic point well can't build anything with it so never mind we see more holy spirits these days you're not lying thank you harley Can interact with the orga or whatever it's called the organ oh you can all right fair enough that's cute i'm into that i actually so i know how to play the piano i played piano for eight years and i actually originally learned um on a church organ. Uh, my godfather had a church organ, and I just played it as if it was a piano. It's funny, I learned how to play the piano on a church organ, sight reading accordion sheet music. So none of the things I had were for, I, I have to assume one of these is Miss Spikey, right? The cycle, sure. I'm not fully happy unless I'm riding my trusty bike. They're silent too. So I think the machines couldn't hear me when I was trying to escape. Girl, I'm not going to ride a bicycle. Well, I mean, I guess if I have no other option, but are you sure? Hey, hey, Therese, are you sure? Anyways, I would do it again, okay. 
middle of robot apocalypse. Let me just play a loud church organ. What could go wrong? Listen, I do it. It's not just about survival, Harley. It's about living. Ooh. Damn, hello? Yo, I gotta look into the OST for Generation Zero. Hello? Also, is it just me? I could have sworn there was a body out here. Now you can call it a night and go to sleep because it's 4 a.m. Well, it was really nice having you here, Raiju. Thank you so much for hanging out. Ugh. The fact that it's multiplayer does mean there is a world in which we see this game again. Um, but... As I've already mentioned, okay, approximately good. a million times. Come back and I'll walk you through how you can make a first aid kit yourself. They always taught us you can craft anything out of almost nothing. We're lucky our priest Yomne is also a bit of a handyman. Okay, well, I did already make a first aid kit. I did skip some steps, but fair enough. Um, I don't know. It, it... It depends on the situation. I can definitely see a world in which we're here again, yeah. Okay. Okay, now to just... Oh, this helps a lot. Yep. I feel a bit better already. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're Look, welcome. My grandparents have gone missing. They weren't home when those things... Can you help me find them? There is very sort of heroic, triumphant music playing in the background. This island only has one main road anyway. So if we want to get help, we need to go west. There's a clear cut nearby. We can start there. Grandpa used to be a woodcutter. He'd work there sometimes. If we're lucky, we might find something there. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. But the... The police... The police report we got... The police report we got was... Said that she had gone missing. Am I crazy? It said that they had gone missing and that they were looking for her. All right. I don't know what any of these things mean, so we're just going to keep rocking and rolling. I guess... I guess if she had gone missing in the sense that, like, nobody had seen her while she was out here, and so therefore... Um... That's why people came out. But, like... That's bizarre. Okay, sorry. So we have the fun bicycle, which we are a super fan of. We love the idea of riding bicycles into robots and gunfire. Oh boy. Oh, this is very Daisy. Oh no, this is extremely day or not Daisy. Uh, seven days to die. Oh no. I do kind of love it. Oh man. Also, it just said vehicle spawn point. So could I, in theory, get infinite Mr. Bikies?
Uh, I shot two of the robot dogs out here, did I not? Oh, here they are. Okay, fantastic. Okay. I do like that you get a lot of um, ammo kits. Like, it feels like the design intent is for you to use... Um, to use a ton of them. I haven't seen or talked to anyone for... four days. Yeah, since Friday. Do you know where everyone is? Those machines, they just showed up out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah, we're getting we're getting some more lore. I'm into it. However good the machines are. They're clearly not good enough to identify me riding on the at them on a bike. Which is, you know, kind of point one humanity, right? Yeah, so far we've been doing so fine, honestly. Y'all doubted me, but actually, I'm the world's best gamer. I'll have you now. You don't believe this? Well, chat, have there been any deaths? You would know best, right, chat? I feel like... Okay. Do we have another dog? Or is it just this tick? Because we could... We could try beating up the tick with a baseball bat, right? Good. The range on the baseball bat is a lot less than I wish it was. I don't think I hit it once that entire time. But that's fine, because they blow up by themselves, I guess. Yeah, the bat, uh, was not great, it has to be said. Alright, chat. I need someone to remind me when the stream has been on for uh, two hours and 50 minutes that I need to talk like a robot for five minutes for the other part of Dare Drop, please. And if we do this, we can get, so we can get some free codes for this game. And then we could do a multiplayer stream of it if people were interested in it.
Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to affect talking like a robot, but we'll find out, huh? Ooh, an SMG. God, I am the king of spray and pray. Oh, that's some interesting contextual storytelling. So, what? The driver crashed into the back of this truck. The logs fell down, hit the driver on the head. Oh, that's so crazy. I was going to say, how do you explain the blood splatter on the back? But you explain the blood splatter on the back by the guy getting hit in the head, his head coming back. And yeah, they're just being like a lot of blood from his head wound. Um, that man is dead. That man might be this man. Unclear. That's interesting, though. I'm into it. Voice mod? <laughs> oh, like an IRL voice mod? No, I don't have one of those. Probably something worth investing. One minute warning. Thank you. I don't know how to talk like a robot, but I will try to do my best. Is that anything? It feels like in the zombie apocalypse, riding a bicycle. Oh, for the clear cut. Don't be reckless, please. What? They're distracted by a radio. Wow, oh, that's so great. So let's keep an eye out for anything that makes noise. All right, girly pop. Um, what is the bike mounting animation? Listen. That was a two for one. Is there any more for any more? Nope, just one combat. Easy peasy. Um, okay. Uh, God, I don't know how to talk like a robot. Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't do it. I don't know what a robot sounds like. I've never heard a robot once in my life. Hello. I am a robot. It's me trying to be nasally. Is this what a robot sounds like? I understand now why it's considered a challenge. GLaDOS doesn't sound like a robot though, right? Hello. How hello. She, GLaDOS sounds like a robot? What do you mean? GLaDOS like talks like an adult woman. Hello. What if I just say hello over and over again? That's basically what Dare Drop wants from me, right? She has the auto-tune. Yeah, well, okay. The triumphant 
music in the background is really doing something to me. What is it doing? I'll get back to you on that one. But it sure is. Oh no! Not gonna lie, I thought that was his like robot weenus, and it was like, don't, don't, don't shoot him in the robot weenus. But no, it's just indicating that he has two gun arms. Um, uh, okay, so it's saying, do shoot him in the eyes. It's saying he has a battery pack in the back that you can explode. He's got like a grenade launcher on his back. And he's like armored around his like torso. Sure, okay, we can fuck around with that. Hey, Baylight, it's good to see you. I'm just gonna close the doors. I can't imagine bullets travel through uh, the terrain very well, right? Stianhaga Farm? Yeah, it's just a bit further down that road. All right, so some people in the area gathered there. That's good. Our family has known the Andersons since forever. So Andersons. maybe it was my grandparents' okay. idea to meet up there. They do have lots of space on their farm. Uh... I'm very stressed out about this, right? Like, especially as I f ride my little bicycle. When aren't I stressed out? Uh, when I'm doing hunt marks in Final Fantasy XIV. I would just like a vehicle that's a little bit better than this seven days to die ass bicycle. There are like some ruins over here we could go check out. You're over capped two hunts in and have to go uncapped. Shut up, Harley! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, so this is not road. We're off-roading at this point. But like, if these are murder robots, surely they can identify my sounds from like significantly far away. Like, oh no. Oh, am I stuck in super hell? No, it's fine. Like, robot apocalypse to me is always much harder to sort of like reconcile than zombie apocalypse. Cause the key advantage humanity has over zombies is not being dumb. Listen, it's fine. Oh God. Bikes go off road all the time. <laughs> I guess if I got a gas mask, I would wear it in an apocalypse.
Can I... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Clothing actually does give us stats. Oh, also, our character model is destroyed. Uh, we don't exist, and that's fine, actually. We're happy about that. So how do I put on the gas mask I just got? Or is the gas mask actually equipment? No, okay. The gas mask, I presume, is some flavor of apparel. Face? It's not in face! That was the first place I checked! Harley? Um, but, real fast, we are about to go onto an ad break, so here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. You know the drill. We'll check them all. I'm gonna run three minutes of ads, and while those are going, we'll see where our gas mask is, huh? Um, and everybody, thanks so much for being here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on my robot voice for Dare Drop, and we'll see if I can't come up with a better one, uh, on the return. Eat crackers? I do have some crackers next to me. All right. I'll see you all quite soon. Bye! Oh my fucking god. The, the inspirational music was my Norse Foundry playing in the background. It wasn't- it wasn't the video game. Anyways, bye.
Hello, fellow humans. This is the best that I can do when it comes to robot voices. Also, I'm sorry for missing the person on the YouTube simulcast. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. This is not going to be a trial or tribulation at all. I'm feeling great about my robot voice and am not in any way, shape, or form uncomfortable right now. It's actually great if you think about it. Also, got the gas mask, but I'm not able to move my bike now. So that's good. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I don't, I've never tried to do a robot voice in my life. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm like missing on the cadence or register. Like, like, cause somebody said go more nasally, right? Oh boy. It's good you found me. There's no one else I can turn to. We were on a camping trip with my old scout group. We all turned 18 this year, so it was kind of a party, <laughs> you know. Okay, Teresa. We were there for a couple of days, having a great time. But when I came home, that's where it all started. My buddies, even the police, they're all dead. My family, maybe they're dead too. I hope someone helped them. Yeah, I thought so. Monotone and staccato. Monotone and staccato. Monotone and staccato. I don't know that this is a better robot voice than the bo voice I was doing before. Does this fulfill your sick and perverted needs for a robot voice, dare drop? Are you proud of me? That's it? Okay, sure. This guy is gonna fuck me up. Have you seen this boy? This boy is going to kill me! Don't say that to Dare Drop. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Dare Drop. Um, thank you so much for giving us this free game code and also for the possibility of getting... Thank you so much for getting us this free game code and also the possibility of other games and their codes. It means so much to us. Okay, now we ride. Now we ride? Now we ride so fast. Sorry, and now we ride. We ride so fast away from the giant scary robot. No, Pixie, that was the only one that I'm 100% confident. God, I'm instantly breaking it. That is the only one that I am 100% sure I knew the weak spot for. I... <laughs> I'm just trying to eliminate them one by one before I get murdered by the big one because he is very scary. I don't, I don't know. I still feel like I'm missing something. That can't be it. Like everything. I guess if I... Here is my attempt to use a strategic way of thinking. If I... Assign this explosive canister to the 9 slot. To the 8 slot. And then put it down. And he comes charging at us. Then surely we will have... Blown him up, maybe. 
I will be honest. I did not think that far ahead. No, I don't. Is that that's not a robot voice, is it? Like they sound. I'm trying to think about how Calculester sounds in Monster Prom. Oh no. Please come by the road. Please come by the road. I need you to come by the road so that way these gas cans that I set up. Okay. Easy! What a little. Sorry, can I say this? What a little bitch, baby! Sorry, can I say that? That was rude. Um, fuck you! Easy game for babies! Also, I just realized that the dark smudges on the top and bottom of my screen are from the gas mask I'm wearing, not just <laughs> some sort of visual glitch. Where is it? Is it on top of the truck? Oh no, it's inside here. Okay, sure. This is gonna suck. Shotgun time, I guess. Let's switch to Buckshot. Buckshot is gonna do more damage. Easy. Didn't even need to do that, honestly. Wait, what? Who's out there? Oh, you're out there. Okay, now we know Z allows us to lay prone. If we go prone, do we become more stable in our firing? Not really. Okay, sorry. I realized that I said I was going to do the robot voice thing. Oh god. What? What does that mean? Why was there... Why was there that big scary sound? Okay, well that was a bunch of ammo that I just wasted for no reason. Which is unfortunate. Oh shit. I didn't see you, buddy. Oh, damn it, they can shoot through their dead friend. Where's my first aid kits? Perfect. Let me just go ahead and eat a couple of these real fast. While backpedaling through the woods at God knows what. Oh, my posture. I really don't want them to repair themselves when I back too far off. But... Oh wait, no, hold on. They're still aggroed on me. Oh, hello! Well, that's just rude.
Also, I'm bad at shooters, but you get it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, we're done. With that particular phase of uh, me contiguously backpedaling and losing all of my ammunition. Um, but I'm sure the rewards will be worth it. Right? I'm sure they wouldn't give me less than I spent to unlock all of it. That would be crazy. So we did open this, but we didn't get any of the things inside of here. Oh. Two times red dot scope. What does that go on? Military cap green. Surely the military cap green does not actually bestow... Um, like, any positive attributes, right? No, okay, it doesn't. Uh, and then what was the other thing that I got? I got a two times red dot scope. Hahaha. <laughs> Uh, it's not me, it's Opera GX. Obviously, Battle Benoit. Come on now. Um, we'll put it on the Glock because, honestly, I kind of just want to keep using nothing but the Glock. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, do we not have... Oh, can we not put it on this one? Does it have to be a, um... Does it have to be a primary... What can I use the two times red dot scope on? Is it only... Will it only go on the, um... Mauser hunting rifle? Oh, it's sights, not vision modules. I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on. Okay, so it won't work for the clock. Will it work for... It will work for the shotgun. Okay. I was an idiot, but of a different sort entirely. Yeah, okay. Sure, fine. I had still I haven't used the shotgun enough to make that worth it, but we'll take it. Put a scope on the baseball bat. Oh, so true, bestie. You're so smart. You are so smart. It feels like it's missing something. But perhaps that is the way that it should be if you are trying to affect some sort of robot voice. Was it? Oh, I hate it. All right, auto mod, sure. You're s okay. Fair enough. Actually, auto mod, you were right on that one. I was wrong. <laughs> Take it back. There does not appear to be anything to these ruins. So we can double back for this before going to the farmstead. What? Rude. Because there does appear to be that, um, police officers. Nice. So 
Sorry, I thought I saw somebody. Yeah, exactly. Never doubt my ability to ride a bicycle again. How dare you? Do you think we're, like, actually more stealthy if we're prone? Four to eight times scope. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. I don't know that the hunting rifle is that effective. But sure. Okay. I feel like that's going to make the hunting rifle... Uh, does it make it better? I don't know. I don't... Listen. I'm a fake gamer. We've gone over this. I don't play FPSs. It does feel weird on like a conceptual level that there's a police officer car here next to the military um, specifically because in the US we really do sort of delineate between the police as a civilian entity and the uh, military as a military entity. Um, but then again, that might not actually be true now that I think about it. That might be a false delineation that I have and the military industrial complex of giving the police surplus uh, military goods actually means that that line is far more blurred than I think it is. So, you know, one of the two. Well, that was not useful. Okay, we check the police car and then we leave. Yeah. We'll catch a bay lights. See ya. Hmm. Fair enough. Forget. Pretend the robot voice bit is the do the wrong emote bit from Final Fantasy XIV and you got it. No, but like, do I do a funny voice when I do the when I do the wrong emote bit? I don't think so, do I? If I do, it's very accidental. Actually. Good, 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 good. Yeah, okay, let's let's try it again now that we're not in a stressful situation. And the second I start thinking about it, I get stressed out. Hello. Hello. The two key indicators I have been given is monotone and staccato. Uh 
I do worry about an inability to maintain the thin line between the two. Also, my bike is gone because I am now in super hell. Was that a rabbit? Uh, I've instantly lost it. More monotone. Hello, our more monotone. <laughs> Hello. I am your friendly ish guardian AI. How may how may I assist you today? I don't want to ride into No! Well, that bike's gone. Man, turns out I'm really bad at multi- Oh no, the bike's back! Yeah! Nope, that bike's gone. Hey, the bike's back! <laughs> oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on. Well, that bike's gone. No, it's truly gone this time, okay. Uh, sorry, where were we? What were we doing? Oh yeah. Hello. Uh, I am trying to do a robot voice with varying levels of success and failure. It's just, it's against my, like, fundamental vibe to try and be monotone. You know what I mean? Like, my number one thing is doing, like, lots of inflection all the time. Y'all ain't seen shit. I'm prone. You haven't seen anything. You haven't seen anything. I'm prone. And therefore, you have no good line of sight. Does this count as a robot voice? Instructions unclear. Also, it does not make sense for me to affect some sort of robot persona if the things that I am fighting are also robots. Really, if you think about it, it would make more sense for the creators of this game to encourage you to talk like a human for five minutes. Because a human is what you are playing as, and therefore is a more logical choice. Maybe the bad evil robot was us all along. Maybe you're a homicidal robot. Damn. Or I guess I mean, damn, how did you know that I was the homicidal robot, trying to eliminate all other robots all along? Teresa is not real, but rather a programmed moral limiter like Asimov's laws of robotics, trying to keep me from killing all humans and instead keeping my homicidal tendencies towards other robots.
<laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yopo, hey, thank you so much for the raid. I'm uh fighting robots and also Dare Drop uh is asking me to talk like a robot for five minutes in order to Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh? No fuck, I'm so fucked. Ah, fuck you. Never mind, totally fine. I mean, uh hello. I hello. Hello. I am trying to talk like a robot for five minutes in order to get free game codes from the developers of this game, Generation Zero, which is set in an alternate universe, 1980s Sweden, after the fall of the Soviet Union. Also, there are robot dogs. Did a rice bucket go on sale? But yeah, thank you so much, Yopo, for the raid and for popping in. It's so good to see you guys. Um, uh, if I could get a shout out from a mod for Yopo, uh, <laughs> my posture is bad because I, whenever I play an FPS, I natively like curl up as small as possible from stress. But thank you for that uh, posture, Redeem Dugal. Um, have you tried giving the robot dogs digital treats? Maybe they're friendly. Uh, we have covered already that perhaps we are the true homicidal robot all along. Also, it turns out of all of the voices that I can't do, and there are many voices I can't do, a uh, homicidal robot might be, or just any robot at all, might also be a bridge too far for me. Oh no, please do not perceive. I didn't want this gas canister, I'll be honest with you. I want to just keep sniping you guys from a considerable distance. Oh, actually, hold on. Actually, you know what? To add more credo to the we're a robot hypothesis, whenever we eat a med pack, our vision goes green. It could just be like some sort of robot repair pack. Fuck you, come on. But yeah, apparently talking like a robot for five minutes, very hard. You were streaming software and development. Yopo, what were you doing? And are, were you asking me to explain what the egg witch, oh God. Oh, hello. Well, fair enough. Were, ask, were you asking me to explain what the Egg Witch is from, or were you asking me, or were you asking Sabata to explain what the heck I was doing? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, folks. I am mad stressed out because I'm terrible at FPS. Shoot! Are we too late? Do you think you're able to get rid of them? To get rid of all the robots that I got rid of, Teresa? Yeah, I think it's fine. Or as fine as it can be. Listen, girl. You asked him about it today and he just told you he told you to ask me. Um, so okay. So I had some really bad luck over and over again about eggs. Um like I just kept buying cartons of eggs from like Walmart, right? And then like something would be wrong. Like I would just have a bunch of cracked eggs or I'd like crack open the egg and like it was obviously bad. And so I'd like check out the yolk or whatever um, by like floating like one of the eggs in like a thing of water. Um, and instead of like settling at the bottom, it would float, which is the indication that it was bad or the other way around. I, I Googled it at the time. Um, So, uh, I, so I, I was, I started making the joke that I was, I was like, I had angered an egg witch because it was the only possible explanation for why 
everything, like why I had such terrible luck with eggs. Um, and so it, it started with me talking about like hard boiled eggs and stuff like that. Like the, the thing, the thing is it's worse when I explain it as all good jokes are, but uh, basically because I just had so much bad luck and because Savada was like really tickled by the idea, he just changed his Twitch name to it. And that's the whole thing. That's the entirety of the story. <laughs> Uh, and you were doing software and game dev. What were you doing in there? Like, it, can, do I get to know what game you were developing? Is it, is it one where if I click on the link you provide me, um, you'll like download my Discord information and like hack all of my info, uh, hack all of my connected accounts? And that's the reason you now call him Ghost. Very fair. I shouldn't have angered the Egg Witch. I'd... Like, the thing is, it's so bizarre about, like, how back-to-back -back my egg problems were. Like, I don't think I'm bad at eggs, if that makes sense. Yeah, we already fought this guy, unless there's another of these guys inside the barn. No, it's fine. Um, like, it was just, it was just really annoying. And then the other thing was... Oh. Oh, did we kill this guy by accident? Oh yeah, shoot him in the head or shoot him in his tank. Okay. Um. Did I not kill this man? Uh. No, this guy's dead. Okay, I don't know why it's still giving me the like shoot him marker over him. Yeah, weird. Okay. Uh. It's the one where you click link and I get stream key. Oh, okay. We can do that one for sure. For sure. Hey, Red Rebecca. It's good to see you. We're doing a first person shooter today called Generation Zero. We are playing. No, I can't do it. We're playing a game today called uh, Generation Zero. That is a... Uh, A, a game set in an alternate 1980s Sweden um, where there's a bunch of robots we gotta kill. It's good to see you, Red Rebecca. Anyone else like eggs, but once they're in your mouth, you're like, you an egg? I, I think I understand what you mean. No, I love eggs. How dare you? I guess right now, um, the shotgun is going to be better than the hunting rifle, because I'm more likely to shoot a guy right next to me than anything else. But, like, it came from a chicken's ass. It came from a chicken's cloaca, actually. How dare you? How dare you misrepresent the chicken's labor? Scrambled eggs with fresh dill. I am a sucker for sunny side up. You give me a sunny side up egg? Mmm. I pop that yolk with my tongue. Let that ooey gooey deliciousness get all over it. Okay. Hazard light kit. Don't know what that means, but sure. All citizens are to go to the nearest shelter or gathering point immediately. Residents of Ibo Holmen and Södra South Holmen should go to the bomb shelter in South Ham where it person Search light kit, sure. Ooh, is this another of the shotgun we have? Hold on. The 
Are there jump scares in this game, like a robot going to jump out of the fridge? So far, there hasn't been a robot jumping out of the fridge, but because I'm a scaredy cat... Yeah, it's a 12 gauge pump action. Okay, we don't need it. Um, because I'm a scaredy cat, there have definitely been moments where... Uh, where I, I flipped the frick out, um, even though the like robot was like... I could see it coming from like a mile away. So far, it's been uh, pretty, pretty tame. The time is 12.34 and we are interrupting our regular broadcast for an important public announcement. All citizens are to go to the next... Yeah, I am a scaredy cat when it comes to this kind of stuff. But so far, I feel like we've been doing okay. Brain mush? You okay? I imagine, so, uh, the thing that we're playing right now is just the tutorial. So I imagine once you play the actual game, um, there are more sort of scary situations that can develop. This is, this is really sort of the baby's first level and in introduction, right? I'm doing good, thank you. That's right, praise me. Praise me and tell me what a good job I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you. Although I really need to get on the talking like a robot for five minutes, huh? It's a, it's such a silly little thing. I don't know why I'm out of all of the things that I've done today. I'm self-conscious about that one. I'm going to blame it on being tired. Now, hold on. Excuse you. You wouldn't pat a robot on the ass, would you? Can I break this window with my baseball bat? Nope, glass windows are immune to baseball bats. Can confirm. Okay. Hold on. Ooh. Excuse me, I didn't realize I didn't hydrate and I am incredibly thirsty. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's keep rocking and rolling. So, to reiterate, because this is a bit I'm doing now, specifically for the purposes of Dare Drop. Nope, I've lost it again. Ah! Hello, this is a bit I'm doing now specifically for the purposes of Dare Drop, which is, in part, a sort of sponsor for today's stream, getting us a free code of Generation Zero, and also enabling us to be eligible for more codes of this in like this sort of thing. We might play more of it in the future. Oh, thanks. Thank you for the reminder. Robots do not have problems with posture, but in case you are out there and you are not a robot, you should be aware that if you continue to hunch over like some people might, you will end up developing muscles in your chest 
that are shortened and enable you to be hunched over all the time. You should therefore try to correct your posture as often as possible so that way you can develop better and muscles for better posture. How do I like the game so far? It has been quite enjoyable. I have heard that the tutorial section is specifically better than anything else that they have. However, I am just having a good time regardless. Specifically, I like similar survival crafting games that have open world elements like Seven Days to Die, which has been a comparison point for me, but I do think that Generation Zero has better gameplay overall. Oh god, I just lit myself on fire. Oh, sorry, I just lit myself on fire. Ow, 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 ow. My name is not Posture Bot, but if it helps you to think of me as pa Posture Bot, then for the purposes of this particular discussion, I can be Posture Bot. I will also say, in addition to just good game feel, I have not played a first-person perspective game in a while, so perhaps my enjoyment of the game feel is disproportionate to the quality, but I am having a good time. What do you mean, getting more steady? I am, in fact, a robot, and therefore do not need to improve over time. I am already as good or bad as I will ever be. I will reiterate on my trepidation about shooters in general, as I am in fact a peaceful robot. But of course, none of the things in this game are real, and therefore can be murdered with extreme prejudice. Ha 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 ha. It's not disturbing if it's only in your head. Ha 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 ha. It's locked. Weird. You can probably find a key in their house. Hey, how about I meet up with you at the barn? I feel better, and no way I'm staying cooped up in here on my own. Don't fret. I'll be cautious. I do wonder if they will actually appear in the game at this point, or if the game will continue to be bugged out about the NPCs appearing. Conversely, again, my hypothesis that all of the individuals in the game are merely my hallucinations, and I too am a robot, could also have merit This key was not the here the earlier. They're both around 70, I think. Their daughter, Anita, she's pretty cool. My favorite grown-up, you could say. We sometimes talk on the radio when she's driving or when I'm out camping. Because it is the 1980s, you see, and therefore there is no way that Teresa or Anita would have a cell phone so they, of course, communicate 
by way of simplex radio waves. Can anyone verify on their chronometer when I started doing this? Please. So sorry I couldn't call earlier. It's been busy as hell here. Where the hell are you guys? Everyone in the area needs to get to Salt Town right away. Call Johnny at the church and see if he can give you a ride. He knows the dad can't really drive anymore. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, I'm so relieved. So, Anita and the others got everyone to the bomb shelter in Salt Town. That's awesome. So that's where everyone is. They have to be. Wait, before you go, could you go get their toolbox? They uh, keep it in their boat shed down by the jetty. You've helped me, so I got to help you too now. I do like the effect that they put in the background of Teresa's voice, where you can hear the bicycle. It is most realistic and also creates a sense of tension because if Teresa is in transit, then their life is in danger. What an effective use of sound design. By saying, if they have robots in this reality, why is there no iPhone? You are perpetuating a false equivalency, Battle Banoi. Robots and cell phones are fundamentally different. I really hope this is to use human parlance, revving someone's engine, because I am really doing it at this point more out of necessity. This is a recycling station, which implies any duplicates that I have can be used here, which is interesting. I will not, however, use it now. Primarily because we do not know if we need these other weapon parts. Although, it does sort of imply that we need them. Lemmy, you underestimate the power of your phone and the camera upon it. If we wanted to, we could know how you use your phone. Yeah, I made it to the barn. Phew, that was close. It's so weird to be in here. It's been ages. Ha, 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 ha. Mesphia. Your joke about the double meaning of android and android phones is humorous. I don't I know. Awesome. Bring it here. My secret plan is to try to repair a field radio for you. This summer at scout camp, I showed everyone how to fiddle with radios. We had such a blast. I don't understand why people are continuing to make wide expressions showing their teeth in response to words we are saying. Also, let me, I do not understand why you think Apple would not run spyware in their phones. Ah, hello, Teresa. It appears that you are still not here. Thanks. 
Just give me a sec. There. It should work now. Take it. You know how dangerous it is out there. Now, all we need to do is head to Salthamn and meet up with everyone, right? It's just across the bridge. <laughs> That's the closest thing to a town we have out here in the archipelago. That's great. I'm so grateful for this invention that helps me play with my friends, Teresa. Just like you are real, so too are all of my friends. I'm sure they would be happy to help me or use my help with the field radio. But unfortunately, our allotted time for stream is almost over. So, we're just going to go a little hog wild at the end here. I don't know what you mean, Lemmy. By the way, I uh, just wanted to say thanks for finding me and for making the area a little safer. Don't want to think about what I would have done without you. That's so sweet, Teresa. Could you please provide me financial or physical remuneration? I do not understand the emotional context of supporting another. I have seen in another of your human games the one called Skyrim, and I must admit, I am disappointed that I cannot just jump up this wall. Why are the physics so realistic in this video game? Although the moon is beautiful in this game, as well as are the environments. I'm surprised by how good it looks.
objectively false. These things elicit a sense of outrage and or other heightened emotional states. Ha 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 ha. Your intention is to get a rise out of me. But you see, I am immune because humor is for humans and I am a robot. Oh, damn. This castle looks really cool. Genuinely, I am actually really hyped about this, which is unfortunate because I am doing this voice right now. And I would go over how interesting, generally, castles and their construction are, but instead I am going to shoot... Nothing, as I fall off a cliff into a pool of water and respawn. I will not engage in any sort of physical violence with a gun. Except now, I will. Stan! Holy moly! Uh, unfortunately, this is the end of stream, but what the heck? Stan, hello? Well, thank you, my friend! <laughs> Merry Christmas! What the heck? Um, okay, well, this is the end of stream, um, and I want to say thank you so much for that. Um... Wow, yeah. Uh Wow, thank you, Stan. Holy moly. Um how was Pokemon trading card game? What the heck? Uh we just finished playing um a little bit of Generation Zero, which is this really cool um uh, first-person shooter set in an alternate universe, 1980s Sweden, with big stompy robots and and the whole nine yards. So you know how we you know how we rock and roll with those. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Holy moly, both for the uh, thousand bits, which it looks like Twitch is saying they're doing something where they are matching, uh, they're adding bits to cheers and things like that. Um, which, you know, is greatly appreciated. Um, and those 10 gifted subs that you gave out to uh, Winter Bunny, uh, Techno Wiz, Clunt Westwood, Westwood, Yoshers, Classic Sushi, Pizza Tonight, Professor Bree, Fio Mercurial, Juzo7, and Genesis Gaming 23. What the heck? Um, yeah, that's super appreciated. Uh, I had you at Giant Robots. Well, assuming that we haven't messed everything up, um, we're actually going to be eligible to give uh, some free codes out in a giveaway. I, I think about only two, but um, yeah, we'll be able to give that. We'll be able to give out some free codes. Uh, so if that's the sort of thing you're interested in, we might play this game again in the future and give them out. So yeah. Um, oh, could we get a robot Microsoft Sam take on the Oratrice Mechanique de Analyse Cardinal? I I would redo that, but obviously. 
Oh, thank you, Stan. And that's greatly appreciated, especially right now, especially during the holidays, but also just generally. You're you're unfortunately too giving and should keep a little bit back for yourself. Hey, everybody in this chat is. Thank you, guys. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for us today, folks. Uh <laughs> yeah, fair enough. ACS Marts. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Generation Zero. I had a ton of fun with it. Um, I, it might just be the tutorial zone. I saw some critiques about it, but overall, um, I would say Systemic Reaction, being a, a Swedish game company setting the game in Sweden, um, is giving it a little bit of a, a little bit of zest, a little bit of flair that I'm enjoying. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I like Seven Days to Die. It has Seven Days to Die energy with a robot apocalypse. So what is there not to love? Um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't send y'all out somewhere, hey? Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, you know what? Hello Tonka right now is streaming, and it's been a while since we actually ended a Tuesday stream From on time. Uh, Tonka on Tonka Tuesdays has been doing uh, World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, which I believe means that if he dies, he has to delete the character, and uh, Classic is a, is a type of mode. I'm not too familiar with it, but if you're interested in MMOs or high fantasy, uh, World of Warcraft sort of is a is a cornerstone of both of those. So I'll drop you over there. Be sure to say hi to Hello Tonka, and we'll catch you dweebs around, hey? Thank you so much for uh, being here. Is Tonka my biological father? This is news to me. I'll have to I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> I'll catch you dweebs. Boy.